Hi, I'm Dr. Papia Bhattacharji. In this problem, we have four terms of a sequence that are given to us. And we don't have the very general term, the expression that will give us every term of the sequence. That's what we have to find. We have to write an expression for the nth term. And you know that when we have the nth term, we can plug in various n values to get any particular term of the sequence. And here we have the problem other way around. Only the first four terms are given to us. We have to figure out what is that general nth term. Now, this is how you should start the problem. You should start thinking that my first term is for n equals 1. So let's write it down. So when n is 1, then my term is 2 third. Now the idea is how can I write these numbers in terms of 1? And then just let's do one more quickly. So for n equals 2, the second term is 3 over 4. Again, the thought should be how can I write 3 and 4 in terms of 2? And then when you rewrite things, you will see there is a pattern or you have to find that pattern so that we can use that pattern to write down our general term, okay? Let me put down the other two as well. So n equals 3, the term is 4 over 5, and n equals 4 gives us 5 over 6. Now one thing, one other thing you should be very careful about, do not simplify by canceling if you can. Whenever there are numbers for a sequence and if you cancel, you might not be able to figure out the pattern at all. So keep the numbers the way they are and see if you can rewrite it in terms of 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now for the first one, how can we write 2? Just look at the numerator in terms of 1. Well, obviously it's 1 plus 1, right? So 1 plus 1. And let's say this one is the n value, 1. Okay, how can I write 3 then in terms of 1? Well, 3 is 1 plus 2, right? Okay, that is a way of writing. Let's see if a similar pattern follows for the next number or not. So now look at the numerator 3 and we have to rewrite it in terms of 2 somehow, okay? So this is, of course, 2 plus 1. How about the denominator? 4 is equal to, in terms of 2, is 2 plus 2. Now immediately, do you notice there's a pattern? For the first number, just the numerator was n value plus 1. For the n equals 2, the numerator is again n plus 1. So wondering whether that same pattern will follow for, number, for the third term. So what is 4 equal in terms of 3? It's again 3 plus 1. So n plus 1. And 5 is 3 plus 2. See, do you see the pattern? Let's check one more time, the last one. In terms of 4, you can write 5 as 4 plus 1. And 6 is 4 plus 2. So, how will you write nth term? Okay, so now look at the pattern and in general, write a term where there is n, not particularly n equals 1, 2, 3, 4, but just n. And we see what it will be, right? It's going to be a fraction. What's in the numerator? Look here. 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, so n plus 1. Denominator, 1 plus 2, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 2, so n plus 2. And that's the general expression or the nth term for this particular sequence whose first four terms are given to us. Thank you.